Hey everyone, it's 6 p.m. on Thursday the 11th of the 11th, 21. Um, we've got five little visitors out there. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, there's one down at the other puddle. Five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, so this is a message from my higher self as well. Not just me, both of us, all of us. <laughs> um, I've done nothing today. Well, I, I'm healing, I'm rejuvenating, I'm, I'm gathering more strength, more magic. Um, my visit, or the visit that Bruce had with me today, the gentleman who owns the gas company in Seaford, when we were sitting at the table having a cigarette, um, I said, just wait here. And because we were talking about, well, I was explaining geoengineering and he'd never heard of that. And, and I said, look up weather modification China just in Google and see how much was spent. Um, and anyway, I filled him in on a lot of things. And so I rushed inside and grabbed my Songbird video case, DVD case and um, just showed him the basics and I showed him um, the song I can't point, hang on, let me change hands <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got song and I've already explained that 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 means ongoing if you type it in your predictive text on your phone so if someone's got time because, I mean, we've all busy and everyone thinks I'm the laziest because I don't have a job but I actually think I'm very, very, very busy. And if you don't think I am, well, you can go jump. Um, but I haven't got time to look up everything. So if someone can research who invented predictive text, just look on Wikipedia or something. And if you can write it in the comments section, that would be really helpful. Um, and then I explained to him about word games. And I showed him the word Pora which is P-O-O-R-E-R. -R. And he was like, oh, wow. And, um, and he's seen The Matrix. And um, actually, it was funny. I'll just say this quickly. He's seen Pretty Woman. He's seen The Matrix. And, and he's seen Terminator. And, yeah, so he's pretty cool. He's very cool, actually. So then while I was showing him all this, I was showing him the word arson in Carson. Now arson is fire, isn't it? And that's the reason I'm doing this video right now, because I'm looking outside at the length of the grass. And the reason I haven't see that bit of rubbish on the ground, it's been there for a couple of weeks, three weeks, maybe. And I haven't picked it up for one reason. When something happens to that bit of rubbish, I know something is going to happen. So I haven't picked that bit up for a reason. And why hasn't it blown anywhere? Like, it's just a bit of cardboard. Like, we've had heaps of stuff blow through here lately. But I was just looking at the length of the grass. Like, that's waist high. Like, that's just terrible. And I've asked council twice in the last month to come and do it. And, yeah, so getting back to this. So we have the word arson right you see it there very clearly and then you see the word Japan now I don't know what Japan's got so if someone wants to look up research Japan um, Japan COVID-23 perhaps I don't know just or put in another word from I don't know Maybe type in these actors' names with Japan or I don't know. So keep going on this. And so I showed him Japan and I showed him Pora and I showed him Arson. And then the other day when I was started to look at this, but I gave up because it was just, I've got other things to do. Like other people can do all this. I've got to do current things with newspapers, I think. Um... Craig Robinson. So Craig Robinson's here, right? 
And it got my attention because if you take the G off the end of the first name and put it on the end of the second name, you get a robin song, yeah, because it's a songbird. So then when I was talking to Bruce earlier, I went in a bit closer when we were outside and I saw, and I haven't even done it yet, but you might like to do it tonight because I'm going to have a rest tonight. I'm just going to lay in bed and and have a think and have a stroke of Nala and read the newspaper, maybe. I haven't even bothered with that other thing yet. But if you notice, so see how I said Robin's song? So if I take the G off, yeah, it leaves rake or crayer or air. So I know that C is the Christ consciousness. It's people that believe in God, yeah? So um, if we take this, so I've said that, yeah? And then that leaves air. Well, it's an air, and I know that um, all my bird messages and, as you can see, a songbird, well, they come from the air, don't they? They come from the universe. So I know that Craig Robinson's correct. So going in further, you see the word from. Well, if you do it backwards, it says morph. So then get, a, get, get write it down on paper. Michael Bay, and then what does that say? The hang on, I'll just bring it up to my face. What does it say? The producer. Oh, I should have got my magnifying glass. My eyes are getting really bad. The producer, hang on. What does it say? The producer of. So maybe do a word game on Michael Bay, the, pro the producer of. Let's see what you come up with. And put it in the comment section, please. Um, so how cool is that? So... There's a Christ Consciousness Air Robin song. Um, and then the other night I was looking at this N. See how this goes into his head? Yeah? So I was looking here and I'm thinking ban. I don't know. But just look at it. Like, there you go. And there was something else that I, something happened with this, there's a movie trailer. So I've got a, in my playlist, you'll see a folder called Movies to Watch. And in that folder in my playlist um, is Songbird. And if you click on that, and at the very start of the trailer, the, there's a billboard. And I can't remember what it's all about now, but look at the billboard and you'll have to pause it and rewind it. And, and you'll have to do that a few times because I did. So you might not, you might be cl more clever than me and, um, and suss on the billboard. And yeah, but the way we're all going to get through this is what the guy says at the very end. And I, f I even forget what that, what I think it was sanitization. That's our way out. And notice, I think sanitization has a, a Z in it or an S or is it a Z? I don't know, but it is. Our, so, and if you have a business, I recommend that you invest in a generator. Um, yeah, so because um, you'll need one. All right, so that'll do for a video for today. Um, and if you're thinking about your food that you're eating and everything, uh, um, no, we'll, I'll stop there. I'm not a doctor or a medical person, but for my own personal, um, experience is when I've cut out meat and I haven't had it for, I don't know, probably a month now, three weeks, a month. It's the longest ever in my whole life. Um without meat 
like I've had chicken, like I've had chicken, 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 and not red meat because my dad's a butcher or was a butcher, and so we had meat all the time. And um, yeah, try not to have any meat because it's a living being, and um, yeah, you'll you'll see the difference. I promise. Well, I definitely have. Anyway, there you go. Good night.